Hello everyone, welcome back to Angela's Craft Room. I thought today I'd just like to show you a few of the projects and cards that I've been making with the Botanical Builder Framelits. Now, this is the Botanical Builder Framelits. As you can see, you get quite a few framelits. I'll just zoom out for you so you can see quite a few framelits in the set you get 14 so you get this really awesome border leaf that you can use on your cards which I'll show you a card that I've used that on then you get different shaped leaves and then you get all the different flowers framelits so that you can you can just cut them out and use them as they are or as I'm going to show you what I've done on my projects and cards I've layered them so to make them more of a 3d flower so it is a very versatile stamp set to get and I would highly recommend it so that's the botanical builder framelits so on this first card because what I'm going to do is I'm doing um, a two-week craft lessons with my ladies so every Thursday we meet so they're going to be learning these projects that I'm showing you that I've designed um, over the next two weeks so the first card they're going to learn is this this one here which I've only used one flower on one large flower on there so literally I've cut this flower out I'll just zoom in for oops, zoom in a bit for you so you can see. So I've used the one flower in Bermuda Bay, which was this size, and then I've just layered that on top of that, like that. And I've glued it on obviously. I'm just showing you the layer to get this look. And then I've just taken one of the glassy designer buttons which is that size and I've threaded some linen thread through and just tied it and then using my bone folder just twirled the linen thread and then I just using the tear and tape I've just popped that onto the um, flower so that is how I've created the look of that large flower and then what I've and then what I've done is I've also added some of these little flowers so in the set you get a framelit um, little flower like that and then you get this little twirly sort of shape and then you get this straight edge shape so sometimes I'll use these as center for my flowers or sometimes as in this case I use them just as little flowers and then just pop a pearl in the middle of them so they are quite versatile so I'll just pop them off there and then before I and then also of course I've added the leaves so I've added two of the shaped leaves on this one this show you that it's what that is one of them white on white's not good but that one and I've used that one so I've used one one of those and two of those on on there now before I added it all that on the um, on the card front I as you can see I've used a background stamp timeless textures which is this one Just zoom out which is this one and has a really lot of great backgrounds and so I've used that stamp set in Smoky Slate on the Smoky Slate cardstock to do a background stamping on the front of the card before I've actually started 
adhering my flower and leaves on the card. So that's the first card. Then the second card, we're going to step it up a bit. Oops, step it up a bit. So this is where I've used that border, that large border, which you just put it onto the side of your cardstock, put it for your big shot, and it cuts this wonderful border out. So I've got the lovely pink base, and then I've got the soft suede on there underneath, and then I have the whisper white on top, and then we have a panel of designer series paper going down here from the Moroccan designer series paper. And then I've done more of a cluster. So I've used on this particular card, I've used, I've made two that size. So that's that one and that one. And then I've used one that size. And I've used one of those shapes and then on all of those then I've just added like that sort of thing in the middle there and then just added a pearl and the same here I've added the straight edge little flower and then the pearl and then I've used if you can see under there I've just used where is it that one, that one, just under there with a pearl on it and up here just one of these little flowers with a pearl on it. So it is such a versatile stamp set and I'm sure the ladies, the ladies have asked me in particular to show them how they could make their own flowers so and I've popped some leaves in there as well like I showed you previous on the previous card and also um, I've popped in a couple of the smaller leaves. So a tip is when you're making these flowers, I, what I do is whenever I've got a spare half hour or so, I just put one color, a piece of cardstock through, I layer all my framelits on that one color, and then I just cut out the flowers. So I've always got a supply in here of, um, of them already cut out ready to layer them to make the um, particular color that I want. So that's, that's the second card that the ladies will be learning. Then they will be learning, I've made this, I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see this a bit better. So this is the box that I designed. Now I stamped this, this is very vanilla, so before I assembled the box I stamped it with the Touches of Texture stamp set which you get two, part one and part two, so they come in two and they have the lovely dragonfly, little bee and they've just got some lovely background stamping in it as well. It's a really awesome set to have. It's one of the newer ones. It's a Touches of Texture stamp set. So then I stamped that and then I just used my blender pen and my ink pads to lightly colour in the, the little flowers and little buds. Then I scored it and then I made the lid and then I've embellished the lid with the flowers as well. So that is something else that they that you could do. So you can embellish your boxes with your flowers as well. So that's project number three. And then the very last project that I'll be teaching them in this series is how to make a bendy fold card. And then I've made a box to pop the bendy fold card in. So just decorated the box with some lovely stamping up gold satin ribbon and then I've just as you can see done the three flowers on the front of the box. So they'll be learning to make that box. Then I'll just take this off. 
so it's quite a nice deep box and it's very easy to make it's just amazing how easy it is to make then they're going to be learning the bendy fold card well this will be the second week that they'll do this because as you can see they're going to have to make quite a lot of layered flowers and it's quite effective and in my card I've used some of the butterflies from the potpourri set from Stamping Up and just put a few rhinestones and pearls on the butterfly then I've, I also used the bitty butterfly punch and the elegant butterfly punch to punch them out and if I hold it up like that you can see the bendy fold the two bendy folds there and there that, that actually make the bendy fold card now a lot of people I know don't glue their bendy folds permanently shut like I do they give it to so the recipient can undo all this but because mine is so heavily embellished I wanted to adhere it permanently which I which I did with um, tear and tape so the slit that come through the bag I put I glued that down with tear and tape then I put another piece of cardstock on the back to cover that so they can't take this apart it's not going to break it's quite firm and sturdy I mean all stamping ups cardstock is 216 GSM it's a very thick cardstock and then I always when I make a card that's heavily embellished like this I just make a box like I have here and then it fits perfectly in this box so I will we'll come back and I'll have to do a tutorial for you to show you how easy it is to make this box and then the gold ribbon just slips straight back on and it's just a perfect gift absolutely perfect gift to give if I can just get that back on there just slide your ribbon up like that so that's the four projects that I'm going to be teaching my ladies over the next two weeks so I hope I've inspired you to to purchase the botanical framelits botanical builder framelits because they are a wonderful set of framelits to to be using to make your own cards you can your own flowers sorry because you can just the colors are limitless like what you can make so I'm going to come back in another tutorial and show you how I layer my cards uh, layer my flowers sorry how I actually layer them and get them to this stage there's a few little tips and tricks but I hope that you've enjoyed seeing what my ladies are going to be learning over the next two weeks. And till next time, happy crafting.